Welcome to My Backyard Mechanics. Alright, on this episode here, we're just going to be doing the spark plugs, the spark plug wires, and the coal pack right here. Um, it's always good to take a picture. That way you can always remember which is 1, 2, 3, and 4, as you can see. 1, 2, 3, and 4. And it'll correlate with 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, so we know that this is the number one piston, number one cylinder, and it goes from left to right. So, I just bought this car. It was uh, a 2002 Dodge Neon 2.0, 16 valve. And you can see right there. Um, you know, you can tell it hasn't been worked on in a while. Check this out. See how it looks? Now watch when you squeeze it. Look at all that. See all that stuff just kind of crows off. I squeezed that one earlier and look at that. So, it hasn't been done in a while. Um, always, always, always when you start before you start your work, make sure you got the right kind of stuff. And I've already checked it out as far as uh, the length and compared it to them. And they all look good. Um, got me some new spark plugs. They look good as well. And uh, this guy here, the coil type. And it looks pretty good. It correlates with the numbers as well. So, uh, this is really easy to do. I got some more work to do on this car. Uh, for instance, I got to do all the motor mounts. This is one. I got one down the side there. You can't even see it. One that kind of looks like this underneath there. And I got one underneath the battery tray area that holds the transmission in. <sighs> so, I bought this car. It's only $1,200. But what the heck, you know? Um, I knew it was going to be some work done to it, but good thing I know how to do some stuff. Alright, so, as I, as I said, before you want to start your work, you want to make sure you got the right parts, right tools. Um, basically, all I need is a 10 and spark plug socket. That's basically the only tool tools you need. These you can pull by hand. You might have to use a, a pair of pliers because they're getting in there. They're tough. They're in there for a while, so you might have a problem with the... Um, boot getting stuck in when the wire gets stuck in them and that becomes real fun um you know you got this anti-seize lubrication that's a must seriously like it's something like there's no way around that you want to put that around the spark plugs before you put it in um okay so like i said we're replacing the coil pack the wires and the spark plug which are not seen yet and you always want to look at the spark plugs all right, so let me go get an assistant to help me um, record this while I actually do the work. All right, I got my trusted assistant. And like I said, always uh, check your work before you start your work. We already went through, make sure all the tools are good, all the parts are here, and now I'm commencing the work. So the first thing you wanna do, normally you wanna disconnect the battery. Um, I'm okay with not disconnecting the battery. Uh, this thing is so old. It hasn't worked on so long. I think this might be the original. And there's a little tiny. I'm gonna go ahead and pull these spark plugs off. Oh. Dang, this thing's been on there for a while. There's a little tiny clipper in here that's that makes it safe for it not to undo. That's what I'm trying to get that. And then, hey. It's, and as you can see here, this little tiny red clip slides back and forth. When it's that way, you can't unclip it. When you put it on that, then you can unclip it. Alright, so that's done. Jesus, this thing's been on here for a while, it seems like. Alright, all the wires are off. Now it's time to take off the full pack. So, I shall commence. It's hot out here, huh? And yeah, we're in Florida, so it's definitely hot. Ah. 
running into the canopy. So, but it's still hot. Bottom side don't look too bad. But like I said, I just bought the car. I want to make sure everything's good, and so why not? All this stuff come from eBay, so it was pretty cheap. Um, I got BWD. That's still cheaper than getting it from the, the parts store, the local pawn store. They're probably gonna end up going out of business in the next decade, 20 years or so. Cause I buy all my parts offline. I mean, I guess they'll still be around for the people that need it, like right now, you know. But I'm not that person. I'm not always needing it right now. All right. So like I said, you always want to match up the new with the old. It looks the same. They look pretty good. Um, the ones I bought is upgrade, as you can see, it's got um copper connections. I'm sorry, brass connections versus whatever the kind of connections they are, which is probably just regular on steel. All right, and now we mount it the way it was. One, two, three, four, just like how it was. All right, that's simple enough. Just like that. I like to get all my screws in before I start actually cranking down on these. And at the end of this video, I have torque specs. Uh, that's one thing I didn't do. I usually look up the torque specs and figure out what they are before I start working on them. But I just was lazy this time. So. Don't tighten it all the way down the first run. You want to get them all kind of just kind of close to being snug. We'll work from one side, one here, one here, and one there, one there. Or you can go this way, it doesn't really matter. But you don't want to just go around a circle. You want to make sure this thing is evenly bolted down as possible. And all my tools are cheap tools, they're all Harbor Freight tools. Pause it. All right, I had to take a little phone break. All right, I'm doing something. All right, so like I said, you just want to kind of snug it up. I'll get the correct torque here in a little bit at the end of the video, and then we'll get it all figured out. All right, so well, that's the coil pack. And see how easy that was. And you can see here, these are your spark plug wires. There's only four cylinders, so there's only four wires, which is pretty cool. It's not like four cylinders. That one came out pretty easy. Didn't look too bad. I think you might want to save all your old parts, you know, in case something, uh, you might need them, you know. One, two, and three, and four. So I got them like this. One, two, three, four. That way I kind of remember where they go. Spark plug socket. You know what everybody looks. You know what everybody knows what they look like. You got a little rubber piece inside because look how far down. That's the top of your spark plug socket. Or your spark plugs. See that? So it's a good thing to have a little tiny rubber piece on them. And then you just want to take them all out. It shouldn't take too much to come out. I guess my rubber piece didn't work. There it goes. And that one don't look too bad. Uh, not too oily. That's a good thing. They look like they've been replaced already. Alright, so maybe I was wrong about the spark plugs. But I don't care. And I get a new vehicle, I do these things. I got from a used car lot, so you know. 
You always want to make sure it's good. And the only way to do that is to actually tear into them. A little bit of oil. A little bit of oil on the, on the plug as well. So that just tells me that, you know, we got something issue either with the rings or the head gasket. Just a small issue for now. Nothing too major. Pretty typical oil, you know. Hopefully it's just residual stuff. But I don't know. And that one, that one looks pretty clean. I think there's no oil around it, you know, so a little burnt up here at the top, but it's all right. Got one more to go. And this one don't look too bad. All right, so. That was kind of stuck in there. All right. And like I said, I normally, you know, I lay stuff out accordingly. This is number four, three, two, and one. This is one, two, three, and four. You know, that way I can just kind of remember how things look and how things went. All right. So now that we got those all out, here are the new spark plugs. Do one at a time, obviously, you know, we got two hands. And they pretty much match the same ones that I got, except for I got NGKR, which is a little bit more better. Um, and you can see, like, the actual top part looks pretty fat compared to this one here, so it's pretty skinny. So hopefully these are better plugs. They should be. So, anyways, like I said, always coat a little bit of this uh, anti c stuff this is very important this is very very important I learned this the hard way long many many long many many long many moons ago I actually had to do a head job because the uh, spark plug got stuck into the head and broke the spark plug and this right here just completely broke off I tried to save it but I couldn't I ended up having to replace the head it's aluminum heads too so it was a lot more work so that taught me a lesson to always and I mean always put them on okay again so this is why we need those rubber spark plugs and a, a rubber inside the spark plug socket kind of holds it for you okay just kind of just get them in there and now like I said the torque thing is kind of important but on these spark plugs they don't have to be like super tight you just want them snugged in there It should just set just like that just set it should just instantly stop and then that's it you don't want to you don't want to crank down on them all right and here we go with number two and you want to save all your old packaging and stuff like that because like i said you want to keep them the old spark plugs didn't look too bad so i'm just going to go ahead and hold on to them the wires you know they didn't look too bad but let's say one day wire one wire the wires go bad and guess what now you have to buy a whole new set or try to go to an auto parts store and find one real quick you know if you're lucky but if you hold on to them then you don't have to look for crap and that one fell in that's all right yeah that was a good job huh Bubba it fell right in the hole the right way the right way exactly so it's in snug that's all you want to do okay so now we got to do the next one all right remember you want to coat that all right camera stopped for some reason all right so on to the third one. All right. I think it might be getting kind of hot. Every time I do a video, a long video, it kind of gets hot and stops working. I didn't check how tight that was. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. All right. So number four. Let's see here. A little bit of this stuff on it. 
this is aluminum aluminum anti-seize so like I said you want this stuff on there this is worth its weight in gold even though it's not that heavy but it's still worth its weight probably in titanium or some kind of rich expensive precious metal or something maybe like a tesseract huh like off the Avengers that thing's worth a lot so there's number four bam 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 okay number four is in and we're basically done with the tools and now I'm just cleaning up my hands because I'm grabbing the spark plug wires we're gonna do number four remember I laid them out the way I did so we're gonna do number four first next in the back back here so I'm gonna lay out these right here the other new ones and another thing make sure it comes with some uh, this stuff here silicone dial <laughs> dielectric compound it's good stuff it's good stuff you know so it doesn't make your contacts too hard just want to open it up they gave me two you know I got one in here too but I'm gonna use a smaller one first all right so basically squeeze it out so you get some ready and let's see here that's a shorty I probably I imagine the two shorties are going to be in the middle and the two long ones yeah they're, they're exactly the same wing so side yeah the two long ones will be probably for number one and number four and it's a little bit extra longer but that's okay so just put your little dab inside there and put your little dab inside there they don't ever give you enough so good thing I got two things number four you want to click hit it until you click it you hear that click that's what you want you don't hear that click that's not good push down make sure it goes in all right so there's number four let's get number three Squeeze it up. Okay, there's that one. And squeeze in a little bit on that one. Wait for the click. Click. That means we're on. Now that's on. Alright, so looking good so far. Two short ones obviously going right to the middle ones and then the two long ones are going to be for number one and number four so the two short wires are for two and three they're the same length and the two long wires are for three and four they're the same length as well so we'll just coat this get in there all right that's pretty much out we already knew it wasn't going to be enough Okay, so little click, little click. So it's enough to do three of them. So I got some more that came with the uh, the coil pack, and one last one to do. Push those down, push those down, push those down. They like to pop up for some reason. Maybe I gotta do that. Yeah. No biggie. It's the same stuff. Same electrical diode or diode electrical silicone. So it doesn't freeze up on you when you try to take it out the next time. So it looks like somebody might have did that same for me. Click, click. All right. So that's all of that. It's popping up. Yeah, I know. I don't know. It's kind of weird how it does that. Maybe if there we go. That's good advice there, Bubba. Look at that. I just turned to the side a little bit, huh? So like they stay down. Yeah. All right. So that's basically it. Um, we change everything. We change spark plugs. We change the coil pack. We change the wires. So you just hook up the one little wire harness that controls the coil pack lock it back into place like so and that's it 
All right, Wyatt, um, just hang out there for a second. I'm gonna start it up. Hopefully everything's good. Doesn't make me look like an idiot. So just kind of step back, bub. I don't want you to anything to happen. So there's all this stuff. Now you can get a little bit closer. You can take the video. Good man. Good man. All right, let's see. Well, that's that. Start it right up, obviously. You know, it's a pretty simple procedure. Pretty simple procedure. It actually ran a little bit better. It was shaking uh, a little more than that, but um, that's it. So that's how you do the coil pack, spark plug wires, and the spark plug, which you can't see, but they're inside there, obviously. Um, so that's it. Uh, uh, let me go get figured out with the torque specs, and I'll continue this video with that. Um, so my next one video, I got me a new air intake. And this is kind of a silly deal because that is the throttle body. Check that out. It's right there. And then you got your hose right there. Usually they're just hooked up straight to the manifold. But this one is not. This one is just, it's just wiggles and diggles right there. It's kind of weird. I ain't never seen that before. But anyways, um, I'm going to take out this air box, put in an air air uh, air intake kit so and then I save all my parts you know just for future reference if I need it in case it breaks down or whatever so uh, all right let me get those torch specs and I'll finish this video all right after a quick search on the internet the cold pack bolts 11 and a half so you know 11 to 12 pounds of torque be okay with that um, these uh, spark plugs, they're 13. So 13 is your uh, magic number. So you can either go by the torque or you want to go the hand tight. I like to do the you know hand tight and do a little quarter turn after that. But uh, it's up to you. Uh, just make sure you put some antifreeze on or anti seize on it rather. Uh, my next job will be the cold air intake. It's kind of sloppy. Uh, when I bought it, you know, this is somebody just didn't take care of it, so no big deal. And my next job will be all four of these motor mounts. There's one here, so that's the easiest one. Um, eBay is the way to go. So get your parts. All right, guys. Um, see you on the next one. Like and subscribe. Appreciate it. All this would help. So I just got two 2002s Dodge. One's a Neon, one's a Ram. One's with a 4.7, which is a Ram, and a Neon 2.0. So that's all I got right now. Alright guys, uh, thanks for uh, watching the video, I hope you enjoy it, I hope it helps.